think I heard something. Oh, I did. I didn't leave my bed alone. Oh, dude! Messed up! Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Farlands. My name is Botch and today we're just going to kind of pick up where we left off here. We've got uh, our base started. Um, we discovered that these spikes here are really kind of the best deterrent. Um, the fences really just aren't. They, they're kind of a waste of time and materials. Um, so with that kind of figured out, I think what I'm going to do is work on getting, um, oh, I, I thought I heard something. There we go. Um, what I was going to say is, shoot, see that's not exactly what I'm talking about. No respect for fences whatsoever. There we go. Oh, well, I guess our bow is done. Yeah. Let's see here. And in the head. There we go. So we need to work on getting some weapons built. I'm just going to let them tear down the fences. I'm not even going to bother trying to pick them up again. Try to, you know, fix them because uh, there's really no point in it. Uh, let's see here. So we need a rope. Let's make a rope. And I need a, an axe as well. So that's going to be another rope. So it's just going to make that. And we need axe and bow. There we go. And so here. We're going to need to find a better source of food. But we do have this water here. So we can drink that. And that will help out a little bit. Let's go ahead and cook this meat while we're at it. Oh, we have some meat. Good, good. Actually, almost out of... Uh, here, I'm just going to throw the last set on there. I'm just going to leave the fire burning because it's really not that expensive. So I might as well just leave it on all the time. Uh, okay, so let's get our house in order, so to speak. There we go. Plenty of arrows for now. I'm going to drop these, though, because I, I just don't think we need them. Um... All right, so we need some wood. So let's get some wood gathered up. I'm going to try to make as many of those um, spikes surrounding the base as possible. And I think my, my goal is to have two layers of spikes so that, uh, and, you know, encircling the, the camp so that the enemies are, for the most part, all but killed. I think the skeletons might take three hits. And if that's the case, I may have to deal with the occasional skeleton. Um, but there are other ways to, to deal with them, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, we need a lot, a lot of wood, so I'm just going to try to quickly gather as much as I can before night. There's the uh, area in development side of the thing. So this is early access. Um, in fact, I was just commenting to my wife earlier tonight that I'm not sure that there's any other kind of survival game out there other than early access. I'm pretty sure they all are in some, some varying degree of early access state. Um, just seems to be the, the way these things go. But as, you know, early access survival games go, so far this one is one of the better ones I've seen. I mean, you know, graphics are you know in progress let's put it that way the uh, controls are a little little sketch the menus are definitely in dire need of improvement you know there are you know plenty of areas uh, in which you know the developer can improve the state of things but seeing as how it says early access 0 0.2 I think we need to cut just a little slack and understand that you know Things will and, and uh, pro you know can and probably will change, so I'm not going to uh, get too bent out of shape over the, the little nitpicky things. The things that I'm enjoying, the things that uh, I think ha you know it has going for it, is uh, you know it's uh, it's got a good loop, right? So in other words, you know the nighttime comes, the enemies are a little bit more robust, uh, but they're not just completely gone during the day, so there's still danger during the day. But it's got kind of a back and forth, uh, you know, uh, 
rhythm to it, which I really like. The auto save, I don't know if you saw that just a moment ago in the bottom right hand corner, is excellent. This is something that I just don't understand why more developers don't put in their games. Um, I think I've mentioned before that, uh, uh, you know, this isn't a technically difficult thing to accomplish in a game. I've, I've done some programming, no, by no means an expert, but I will say that that, that one's not that hard. So um, kudos to the developer for, for, you know, for that feature, because it's really, it, it, I think it's just crushing when uh oh, i think i heard something oh i did leave my bed on. oh dude messed up that was totally messed up uh okay that might also be an area of <laughs> that the developer could uh choose to work on there because i'm not sure that 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 doesn't seem fair to me that the guy I mean, I'm sure the, the, the base itself, uh, the foundation, was, uh, you know, in bad shape. And that's probably why it collapsed. But, I mean, come on, should I lose the bed, too? And there's no signs of wear, so and there doesn't seem to be any way for me to repair it. At least I'm not aware of any way to repair it yet. So, I don't know. Again. Trying to cut them at least some slack, but come on. <laughs> the uh, maybe my chief complaint is the litter problem uh, going on right now. Like uh, this this tool we dropped uh, some time ago, and it's still there. I don't know if it's ever going to go away, and I don't know of any way to get rid of it. Um, so that that's an issue. But all things being said, I really am still enjoying the heck out of the game. Um, I think it's got a lot of things going for it, and I'm still I'm still enjoying playing it. So, kudos to the developer for a good start, at least. Uh, okay, so let's just keep on gathering as much as we can. Um, there's a there's a whole landmass that we really even haven't gotten a chance to explore yet because I'm still trying to kind of make uh, a safe place to be. And there's uh, a number of things that I want to try to craft. Um, that I don't quite know how to get the materials for just yet. So plenty left to do. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I don't see this being a, a really long series, um, but I'll play it as long as I can. And then there's the awkward music that just happens randomly for no reason. That, that could probably go. <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, okay, so... Um, Gonna consume what I can here, and then so I think we make the traps on here. Um, I learned earlier that you don't want to just you know queue up a bunch of traps that you can't actually have on your person. So I'm just gonna drop a couple of these rocks, and we'll put the tarp in here for later. Same thing with these rocks; we don't need them. Uh, let's see. Okay. So that's a, a good start. We have lots of wood, so I'm not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and get, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is our max. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now we can just start kind of looping these around. And we're going to need a whole bunch of them to do what I think uh, is the best thing, you know, strategy to try. Uh, let's see here. Oops. The controls are a little, a little awkward, I think, but you get used to them fairly quickly. Um, I still don't quite know what the the that little green, you know, digit that sticks out of there means. That could be clearer, um, but I'm trying to place it in the direction that it, you know, that it's pointing. Uh, I feel like that's the clue that I'm supposed to be picking up on, so. Could be wrong about that. There we go. So we're going to go all the way around once. And then uh, the plan, after I get around once, 
I discovered that I can hop over this safely. So what I want to do is leave a, uh, like a little landing space like that and then uh, put another layer all the way around. And then I don't really care what happens to the fences at that point. Um, they could just go away. I might even tear them down if I can uh, because at that point I'll have my, my protection in the way of spikes. And I don't think the spikes, you know, uh, get damaged at all. I could be wrong about that. Okay, let's keep on working. We only have so much daylight left, and we'll need to defend again. Um, I'll probably need to make um, uh, a spear or two because although I like the bow, I feel like uh, the uh, ammo is just too. Uh, it's kind of too expensive you, you know you, you go through it pretty quickly you have to make two at a time um, and it's just not really worth the effort when I can just spin up a couple spears and be okay for a while okay so can I do I guess I'll go like there'll be a little gap if I don't close that I guess I'll go like this Uh, like, there we go, that's good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not trying to impress the zombies, just keep them out. They should be coming fairly soon. Let's see. In fact, let's go ahead and make whatever air ammo we can. And uh, we'll also equip our torch. This is another thing that's kind of a pet peeve of mine, is you can't just press the number and equip it. You have to right click on it. Ah, uh, where's he at? Oh, there he is. I like the fact that we can shoot and hold the torch at the same time. Uh, Particularly realistic, but you know, helpful. Alright. So the night night has begun, and this is what I mean by kind of a loop. You know, we're going to kind of switch from crafting mode to defense mode. We could get some crafting done, but um, we would end up kind of constantly switching back and forth and it's really just difficult to do that um, there's really only so many ways that can get in right now without hitting a spike I'm going to seal this up right here oh, oh, oh. I hit my own spike that is something I have to be careful of let's consume one of these the the sounds in the game could be better too because sometimes they're a little scary unnecessarily <laughs> Like I don't, I don't always know what I'm hearing. Don't like that. Alright. Um, I think we had a food on the fire, didn't we? Let's go grab that. Uh, we did. Cool. So we'll have that for later. Oh, we lost our torch. Can we make another one? Yes, okay. Go and left hand that bad boy. So yeah, they're only the torches are only good for like eight minutes. So, but they're not too hard to make. You saw I made one of those really very easily and quickly. Let's go ahead and drink while we're at it. See, water we've got pretty well on lockdown, but food is kind of a constant thing now. Um, but we'll continue our uh, fencing or. Our, uh, are uh, spiking around the perimeter as soon as we can as soon as the light comes up um, and like I said I don't care if they knock down the rest of the fence I don't, I don't know if I can tear that down let's see what it does change material repair destroy okay I could destroy them they're not really hurt anything so I'm just gonna leave that alone I like that you can change the material I was kind of curious about that um, Okay. Oops. Okay. Oh, um, where are we at? 
Oh, not a lot of good the uh, spikes did, but I mean it hurt them. It just didn't kill them because we only have the one layer. Let's go and eat my food. Maybe I'll do a bandage too. Why not? So let's go and make another couple bandages while we're at it. All right, uh, let's see. I guess we'll go up here. I kind of liked the idea of this, but in practicality, it just wasn't working the way I wanted it to. So that's okay. We gotta try these things out. I don't know if the spike, uh, the spikes surrounding the, the base are going to be as effective as I'd like. But you know, it's a, it's a, a way to you know try and, and see what works and what doesn't. I do sure hope it works though, because it was a lot of work. Uh, I'm so I'm very curious about a lot of the a lot of the rest of the game. Like we see that horse, so you might not be able to see the horse so well, but he's right there in the background. There's a lot of those out there. I don't know. I don't see any option to like tame it, but I'm wondering if at, at some point in the future is that, if that's a plan. Um, you know, I'm gonna go kill that pig while we're talking about food. Back who? You know what I'll do? shoot him and see if he comes towards the spikes oh no that was it he just died one shot boom we kill the horse oh, he dodged it uh, yeah, we, we have enough arrows to experiment that uh, horse doesn't <laughs> doesn't care at all I guess we're eating horse meat now so okay the AI could be better Right, like I said, try not to nitpick too much because it is super early access. But oh, oh, oh! There's a skeleton guy. Oh, hello. Hey, bastard. Let's see. So he didn't interact, but how do I? How do I repair the workbench? I mean, he was kicking the workbench, right? I don't know. Oops. All right. And then exit. So here, how do I exit this, right? I can't press escape. Because I press tab. But there's no way to click the exit button there. So, again, not trying to nitpick. Just trying to kind of point some things out that you're going to experience if you tried this game out like I am. Early on, it's just the way it's going to be. Oh, we lost our little pylon over there. So, oh, our platform. You know what? I'm kind of curious about something. I'm going to go and tear down one of these fences and see if it returns material. I'm actually going to let this guy hit a spike first. I might as well. So let's turn it, let's tear down one of these and see if it returns material. Uh, destroy. Uh, it does not seem to return any material, so good to know. Let's cook that meat while we're at it. And we'll drop these. I really do wish we had an option for what we were picking up. Um, hopefully they'll the developer or developers will work on the loot system and stuff like that. So now we're just waiting for daylight. I think um, I, I'll probably complete one set of spikes, which so really just, you know, this little gap in the front. And then we'll take a break from spike building for the time being. And instead... Um, Focus on uh, exploration next. Oh, the spikes got them that time. See, so they do kind of work. Now the the fence gives them something to target, um, but we can also make uh, little enemy lures or whatever. So something to think about. 
See, because that guy took it two arrows, even though he went across the spike. So I'm not sure how effective this is really going to be. I don't know. We'll experiment and see what uh, see what really works. Oh, hello, horse. I wonder what happens. Like, how hard is it if I just uh, hit him with a a rock instead? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Uh, okay. So yeah, um, hunting is not an issue in this game <laughs> as of right now. Not too hard to get some food. So let's go ahead and consume another big brown lump. Why not? Alright, daylight's coming up pretty soon. Let's go ahead and shelf our, uh, our uh, torch for now. Okay. We only have eight arrows left. So I think I'll, I'll work on getting uh, a few more arrows put together and then we'll go exploring for the, maybe for the rest of the episode. Uh, let's see. The sound effects are good. I mean, they're a little bit, you know, they're a bit, a bit much sometimes, but, you know, they're good, right? At least there's, there's something. I mean, I, I, like, when I think of an early access game, especially when this early in its development, I, I really do try to kind of admire some of the steps that have been taken even if they're, they're small steps and, and even if they have room for improvement, just because I know what those steps take. Um, I know I, I know what it's like to search through, you know, uh, uh, sound archives trying to find, you know, the right one and knowing that uh, production costs money, you know, or it costs time and you have to deal with, you know, uh, assets that are free but not as good. So it's 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 a lot of work, is I guess my point. And I, I admire the work, even if it's you know early on and could be improved. I don't think there's uh, anybody out there that that you know has no room for improvement when it comes to development. All right, so we're just uh, manufacturing a few arrows. Um, quite sure how many I need but we'll eat on the run but I think that's good enough for now chime chime <laughs> it's chime time okay let's take a look and see what we can find out in the world here so we are like we don't really have a map right if I press M if I press escape I, there's no way to get like a, an overview map but uh, do we have a compass or any way, like, I guess what I'm thinking about is if I leave, am I ever going to find this place again? Well, I mean, we, we have the water over there, um, and you know, that corner up there. And, and so, and that's like along that line is where the, uh, the barrier of the map is. So I think what we'll do is, uh, gosh, we don't have a compass or anything. Um, okay, you know what we'll do? Let's rebuild the bed because I'm pretty sure the bed is a spawn point. So worst case scenario, we can make it back that way. Uh, let's see, that was under... So we need one more cloth. Do I have any cloth in here? I do. Let's just make a bed and that way we've got that spawn point in case we need it. There we go. Okay. And now I'll just kind of rely on my naturally uh, honed instincts and direction to make my way back safely. Ha ha. Uh, what am I thinking? I should probably never leave home. Especially since there's no compass, no beacon, no map, no nothing. But, you know, it's worth the risk just exploring the map. There. I mean, I don't know. The map seems pretty large, you know, which is an ambitious step for something, you know, this early access. Um, so I'm curious about it. I want to know, like, 
Are there different biomes? Are there any points of interest? Like, look at this. This is a new biome, right? This is kind of like a, a swampy type. Well, not swampy, but yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, it kind of reminds me of in Heat, there was um, this kind of biome down in the Louisiana area. Uh, so it kind of reminds me of that. Kind of a jungle feel to it. So I guess there are, you know, there's at least two biomes we've confirmed. Let's see what else we can find. Um, I like the, the change in topography. Ooh, look at this. We found a lake. This is cool. See, I might have even settled over here by the lake if I'd known that. Um, makes me wonder if there's any, like, alligators or anything in there. Let's see if we can swim. We can swim. I don't see any sea life. And I also don't see any, like, breath bar or anything like that. So I have no idea if I'm drowning or not. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stay out of the water for now. But uh, we know we can go in there at least. Let's go around this and see what else we can find. Uh, it's getting really kind of uh, spooky looking. Uh, but I think it just means it's going to rain. Yep. Hey, there we go. I'm getting the hang of that now. It uh, starts to look foggy and then it rains. So we've got weather. That's a good step. You know, kind of that immersion is important. Uh, let's see here. I really don't know what I'm going to come across. Uh, so I'm hoping it's... I, like, I haven't seen too many zombies or skeletons. Maybe we we set up camp in, like, Skeleton Zombie Central and didn't need to. So I haven't really seen that many enemies. Ooh, is that an apple? Cool. Uh, we have not seen an apple just sitting on the ground like that, so that's cool. We've seen bananas, weirdly enough. Coconuts. So, I don't quite know which direction I'm, I'm heading in, because we don't have a map. Um, I'm just going to consume what food I have there. I have a general idea of where we're at, and I think if we were to turn, you know, right and head that direction, we'd eventually hit the barrier and then be able to fire our way back. So I'm kind of keeping track in my mind um, for, for what good that is going to be, I don't know. There's another little lake or pond, whatever you want to say. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty vast. I mean this is I'm, I've been traveling for quite some time, and it's a, this is a pretty big map, so that's ambitious as far as uh, you know map size goes. There's a lot to explore. The problem is not only do I have a famously bad sense of direction, uh, but also because we don't have a map, it'd be difficult to really know like where we've been, where we haven't been. Um, I'm, I'm just hoping that I can even find my way back um, successfully, which I, I think I will be able to ultimately, but I've been trying to, you know, uh, travel in the same general direction for a while, and we'll, maybe we'll hit a boundary in turn. Let's see here. But yeah, haven't really seen hardly any enemies out here, so it, it makes me wonder if maybe we just chose the worst possible spot, which honestly doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. I like how the puddles remain after a good rain that kind of adds to the immersion effect. It's kind of nice. Uh, we have been traveling for a while and uh, really haven't seen a whole lot of anything. So um, I'm not sure I want to continue on today, but I also don't want to leave. Like I don't want to sign out to log off here because I'll n there's no way I'll remember to be able to find my way back. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and head 
back for now. We'll do another expedition at a, at a later point. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch me travel all the way back. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and end the episode here by saying if you like the video, if you like the game, if you want to see more of this, uh, please do click the like button below. It takes two seconds, helps me out a ton. Really, really appreciated. Um, if you uh, haven't already done so and you'd like to see you know more of my content, whether it be this game or other games that I'll be playing in the future, uh, best way to do that is to click the subscribe button right now. You know, so I, I do appreciate you uh, sticking around with me to the very end. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.